Hello farmers, welcome back to No Man's Land. We are currently in the month of October. So yesterday, which would have been September, I finished up my day by cutting out some logs, bringing it over to have a seat, our furniture store. Put about 25,000 liters of wood in there, so that should be good through the winter. But in order for us to get to the winter, you can see the money is kind of low. And since I'm paying about, uh, I'm going to round off like 800, I think $800 a month in interest fees, property maintenance, and all that. I need some cash to get through the winter. Plus, I think what we're going to do today is we're going to lease a fertilizer spreader and we're going to fertilize our other two fields that need to be fertilized. So I got some furniture and some tomatoes. We're going on down to the supermarket, the new supermarket that moved in. Uh, they want some stuff as well. So we're going to deliver here. Prices are our best here. So hopefully we have no problems selling everything here. I'm hoping with everything we have here, we can get through the winter if need be. But of course, as we go day by day, we are going to check the store. Oh, that one pallet flipped over. You're not going to sell, are you? Why are the tomatoes not selling now? There we go. Tomatoes sell slowly for some unknown reason. I wonder if I can get that pallet to upright itself. It might be it might be light enough for me to to lift it up and or just do that. That that, that works as well. Uh, so yeah, bring in the cash. That was the cash I was hoping for, but it is what it is. And wow, these tomatoes take forever to sell. Why? Why? Why does it take so long? Uh, so that leaves us with about 15 grand, which is good. So while we're here, oh, look at the look how we got some lovely little trees here turning color because it is fall. Uh, let's go into the shop and we're going to go down to fertilizer spreaders here. Uh, we're going to get the modded one by Stevie just because I think it's a faster working speed. Not that it matters too much. Let's go in here and lease it for 1275 bucks. Yes, we need that. And while we're here, I need to go to here. And because I kind of gave away all my fertilizer when I returned the uh, seed drill last episode, trying to figure out if I get money for stuff that you, that you uh, that's in the machine that you leased, if you get money back on it or what happens, it just takes it. Uh, let's go ahead and buy that. All right, so that does leave us with about 12 grand left, which is not bad. Uh, we can get to the winter with that for sure. So, uh, let me just head on back. Ooh, I do, I do like having some trees on the map now that do give us some fall color. Uh, I need to bring the trailer on back. By the way, I finally did figure out on the trailer how to put the side, sides down. And the reason why I've been having difficulty trying to figure out put the sides down is because I usually have the front end loader on with the trailer. And even though if you, if like if I'm on the trailer, I bring it up and I try to move my mouse to where you're supposed to open up the side rails on the trailer. It only works the uh, front end loader. So I got to have the front end loader off in order for me to put the side rails down on the trailer. Uh, so that's always been my problem. I always had the front end loader on the tractor with the trailer. Oh, also I should thank, and uh, I might as well keep you with me now when I get back to the furniture store because that's, that's where we drop off the trailer. To take out the wood chips, you have to park the trailer where you drop off the wood. Seems simple enough, right? And I think Spider Nam, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, uh, for leaving the comment below on that. So I was going all around, I was just kind of like skipping where you drop off the logs, not thinking, how about if you put the trailer there and this apparently this loads up there. You'd think they would have uh, had a nice little output for the wood chips, but it is what it is. So if you were like me for a while trying to figure out how do you get the wood chips out, well, you just park your trailer right where you drop off the logs and it'll say uh, refill here. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm pretty sure since it's giving me the trigger to refill there, the only thing that's left for me to refill out of have a seat would be the wood chips. All right, so I'm gonna drop off the trailer and the front end loader. Yeah, I don't need the front end loader for anything currently. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave the front end loader attached because I'm gonna have to probably move the crates around. Oh, I left the hydraulic clothes off. Uh, interesting. Um, because I have to move crates around for the winter. So I might as well leave that right on there. So, go on down to the store. Let's pick up our fertilizer spreader. Come on back. Hopefully, I get enough fertilizer that I bought to fertilize the two fields. They're not that big. But let's get those fields fertilized because, you know, it's an extra 23%, I think, on the yield. That is one big spreader. I hope the T6 can handle it because we don't have a front weight on the front of the tractor. But it hasn't bothered uh, the tractor too much that I have a front weight on the front as of yet. Let's go ahead and fill up with some fertilizer. So I still have about, I think, five trees. Ooh, is it 1,000 liters going to be enough? 
All right, you know what? We're here. I don't want to have to make another trip on down here. And it's not like I can't unload the fertilizer and and use it in the future, because we definitely will. This brings our money down a little bit more, but it is what it is. Let's top that off. So, yeah, I got about five logs or trees left uh, to cut up from cut that we cut down last episode. I'm saving those for, hopefully, the sawmill that we... I, I, I'm kind of hoping that we can place down maybe in the springtime. We'll have to see. We only need 20 grand for it. And uh, I also did get rid of all the concrete except for where the shed is. So all the concrete back at the farm is, is gonzo. It didn't cost me that much money to get rid of it either. So it was well worth it. Uh, yeah, I just didn't like the looks of the concrete myself either when I put it down. I mean, I did it first just because it was like, oh, I got, it felt like I was building a farm now. But after a while, it's like, yeah, just, uh, I think we'll have a lot of dirt and maybe some gravel around. The main roads will be asphalt. Eventually, this whole road will be asphalt once we get more people moving on in. Let's get back to our fields and fertilize. The crops have grown. They're in the first growth stage, so we should be okay for going in the fields with the wide tires. We don't have wide tires. I think it's got regular tires on here. I'm so used to saying wide tires because I always like to have wide tires and weights on my tractor. But when we started this series here, I just left myself with a $200,000 loan, which is rather cheap for me. I usually go for millions of dollars in loans. But uh, this time, just $200,000. Um, some people also did uh, have mentioned about the water tower I put up, saying I didn't need it with a water tanker. You can just back up to uh, water and fill up. I think... I think I may have mentioned it before, but if I didn't, the water that's there, you cannot fill from that water. You just can't back up the tanker and back up to the water and fill. Um, that's not a trigger for that. So you do have to put down a water tower. I did do a little bit of test before I started the series it, because it was the same way it would happen in 19 that if you lower the terrain here in no man's land, the water table is not that far down. Now I don't know if I dug into the terrain if I can refill from water, you know, the water under the ground if that makes sense. So if I were to take out my landscaping tool and dig a hole here, we would hit the water table. I don't know if I can uh, draw water from that. But I do like the water tower, the looks of the water tower, and of course water is free. It only costs us a couple grand to put it on down anyways. So here is our lovely little wheat. Now I should not get crop destruction, but I'm going to test it because yeah, no, we're fine. We're good. We're all good. Uh, let's see here. Working with is great. So we are all set there, I do believe. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. 42 meter working with. I got to get used to that. I'm probably going to overlap a little bit here and there. But it's all good. I like using mods by Stevie because he doesn't change them too much. The one thing he does change... And you can buy the standard one or the fast speed one. Usually, what I call fast speed, uh, I talk about the working speed. And uh, when I try to make videos, getting this uh, by time, I don't want to say it's limited, uh, but you know, it's you know, it's, it's time-wise that saves me from getting a lot of this work done by having a machine that uh, can work at double the working speed that it usually does. I think two passes will be good. I'm probably going to use any fertilizer whatsoever. Now, this job is not going to take us long at all. I would like to get something like this for us in the future. Uh, let's go to the map here. Yeah, I was checking out our production building here before I started recording. And now if I go to here, let's take off needs rolling. And, of course, needs lime. Oh, I covered the whole field rather good. All right, so that's one field done. Let's go get the other field done. And then, uh, well, let's pretty much start sleeping through the days at night because we don't have any other farm work to do springtime i'm kind of excited to get to springtime because over winter we'll be have hopefully have tons of furniture to sell some tomatoes to sell and hopefully by then the chickens will really start really producing the eggs a little bit better and we will have a good amount of cash now there are a lot of things i could do with the cash when springtime comes i think i'll have to depend on what comes up for sale during the winter I'm kind of hoping nothing comes up for sale that I want because, yeah, then that'll just kind of, I don't want to say force our hand in the direction that we go. But I definitely want to get the sawmill up and going. 
just because I can start making some planks and uh, bring the wood there. Now, now the, now the thing that's going to be, I would assume the sawmill is going to be base production wise, and that could be just a, I don't want to say an issue too much, but the furniture store we have is the no handcuffs mod, which you know produces five times faster and holds five times as much. So I don't think the sawmill is going to be able to keep up with the furniture store, which is fine because I can just bring logs to the furniture store anyways to make furniture. But uh, the sawmill, yeah, maybe we'll just have the sawmiller to make planks and sell planks and keep the uh, furniture store the way it is. Uh, let me go in here and try to dump this fertilizer off because I don't want to lose it. I might be too close to everything in here. Let's see if it'll let me unload. Oh, it did. Perfect. Uh, wait, not enough space to unload. Okay, how about if I pull forward? Can I get another one here? Perfect. All right, that is empty. And let's do it the cheesy way here by going in here. And instead of bringing it back ourselves, we'll have someone come pick it up. There we go. Now we're all set. So you can see I got rid of all the concrete around here. So yeah, it does look a lot better. Eventually, once we are kind of set money-wise, then I can start really going around with the landscaping tool and really start to make it more eye-pleasing. I think that's the word I'll use right there. All right, so our fields are set. Um... Greenhouse should be set. Let me just go into here. Yep, that's looking really, really good. Uh, let me just check, double check them productions. Yeah, so 25,000 liters of wood. That should be good enough for a while. Uh, wood chips can be stored. Furniture, I should be able to go three months before I have to move things around there. And of course, tomatoes, we are almost full of water and that that can hold for quite a while. Oh wait, uh, chickens, chickens. Um, they're halfway to adulthood. And once we get there, then it's every two months we'll get uh, double the amount of chickens. Uh, they should be good on grain, and we got 235 liters of eggs currently. Uh, let me just double check the store here. The only thing on sale is that piece of equipment there. Nothing that we are currently interested in. So let's go ahead and sleep the night away on our lovely little mattress. So I am thinking about, you know, there's a lot of things I'm thinking about how we can uh, start off with spring. Depends on how much money we got. Like I said, 20000 for the sawmill to start with. I did cut down the trees over by uh, where the sawmill needs to go. It was actually this one tree I had to take care of. All right. So there is the money there. I don't know why I'm walking outside because we can just coming in here. Uh, that's a nice John Deere forage harvester for half price. Uh, this is a cultivator. I don't really need a cultivator because I'm probably going to go with a direct seed drill. That's the way I always go. Uh, can I get back into the door? So, yeah, nothing to really do here. So let's go ahead. So that's November. Let's go into the month of December. There's that. Some people said they think that's a werewolf, that sound that we hear at night. Um, and I think I'm sleeping with my cabin door open, so I might want to start shutting that. All right, so we're down to 7,000 in the store. We got a whole bunch of wonderful things. Uh, look at that Fent Ideal Combine for $162,000. That is one heck of a price. Unfortunately, it's not. I mean, if I didn't have a harvester, but I had, I had this, say I had $150,000, I said I wouldn't boil the money. I'd borrow the money to buy that right now. That is one heck of a deal. Um, a bucket is something I could use, but I think the all but, um, bucket is a lot cheaper than that so yeah nothing of interest here another tractor would be nice that's you know but that's it's out of our price range uh let me just double check no i hit tab i didn't want to hit tab our t6 is still there uh let me come over here and make sure we shouldn't be I'm trying to see storage here doesn't show storage Productions, storing, uh, 40 liters. So I just think it just barely started on that. Uh, I keep hitting tab. I don't know why I keep hitting tab to try to get to productions. You got to come in here, Peanut. You'll learn someday. Uh, furniture, we are now storing. So I got another another month, I think, before I have to clear that out. Uh, we're doing good, good, good. All right, we are all set here so far. All right, uh, nothing to see here for the month of December either. So let's go ahead and 
sleep to January. Catching some Z's. Ah, it's snowing out. I would probably like to see the winters just a little bit longer, but that's just me. All right, so we got a little snow on the ground, which is kind of nice. And yeah, nothing here that's of interest. Uh, let me just go into here. Furniture. I probably should go down and clear that out. And tomatoes, we're just really starting to store. Uh, chickens, we're fine on the feed. Uh, They're now reproducing. And we're up to almost a thousand liters of eggs. So that's that's looking really good. Um, but by next month, we should have almost double the chickens. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is just go on down with the tractor and clearing out the furniture area because I'm probably going to sleep through February as well. I don't think we're going to add anything to the farm here. The tomatoes should be fine. They're, they're fine outside. I don't think you'd ever want to freeze a tomato. I don't think that'd be, uh, that'd be good for the tomato at all. All right, so I'm just going to go on down here. This will take me a little while. I'm just going to pick up the pallets out of the furniture shop, move them on over so I don't want the furniture shop to come overstocked. And am I going to slide around like I do in season? No, it doesn't seem to be as slippery. Um, yeah, I don't want it to shut off because that would not be good for our production. Probably should scroll in a little bit more. Now the pallets seem to be fine after I got all my key bindings and deleted a lot of key bindings. I don't have the pallets falling through as much as they used to. Alright, so I gotta move about maybe 15 of these things. Uh, how about I see you in the morning of February uh, and we'll see what's for sale at the shop. As a pallet goes flying. Looks like the crops are doing well here in the month of February, although all the snow has disappeared. Uh, this is kind of interesting in the sales for the shop. We kind of got the same thing twice, but one is 53% off, the other one's 58% off. Kind of interesting. Uh, we do have a Coverland plow here, uh, but we do have our own plow already, so I think we're all set. Uh, I, why do I keep hitting tab? I gotta stop doing that. Uh, let's go. No, I was on chickens. I, I, that's what you want to see. Though, so, there we go. Now we got 101 chickens. We still got a good amount of food. The eggs are still going to be, be, yeah, be reproduced a little bit quicker, which is always good. So it looks like we're going to head on to the month of March, I guess. Uh, yeah, nothing we can do with our fields here, so we're all set. I probably should just see what the pricing of furniture is. Uh, do I want to do that? Tomatoes? Ooh, the price of tomatoes are looking a little bit better than they have been. And the furniture is going to really kind of suck. That's the only bad thing about the furniture. The high price is usually in the... I thought it was the fall. Okay, it's like July. But you can see uh, right now in February, that's like the lowest time. So, yeah, March, April, May, June. So we got to almost like wait till June if I can. We shall see, but I do want that that wonderful little sawmill, so we'll have to see what we can do. Uh, let's see what March brings. But we should be good to go still on the furniture shop. It still has a good amount of wood into it for at least another, well, at least until April, I think. I think I can get through April with the wood we got in there. I want to hold off because obviously I want to get the sawmill down. I always walk outside. I don't know why. Uh, look at our lo wonderful little wheat that we got growing here. That is looking really, really good. All right. Um, ooh. Hello. Uh, I think you were... No, you're not the same one that was on sale a while ago because you are the 7720S. If I were to put the bigger engine into we're just talking 110,000. Ah, yeah, I don't think this year is the year we're going to get a, another tractor. It would, would be really, really nice, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, let's see, how do I want to approach this year? Uh, let me just double check on our production buildings to see what they're doing. Because I think we're going to skip another month here. That is looking fine. Furniture, 4,000 liters. 
Yeah, so let's sleep another month. We should have enough wood to get through another month, and the furniture will be made, wood chips will be made, and we can see we still got some storage area for the tomatoes, just because I want the price of the furniture to go up a little bit before I sell it. Because like I said, currently the price for furniture is... I hate this chart. Until we get some numbers over here, that'd be great. Um, 18, 1800. Is that the wind I'm hearing? I think that's the first time I kind of heard it like that. Or is that the greenhouse spray and water? I think that was the greenhouse spray and water I just heard. Anyways, uh, the chickens. Oh yes, we got a lovely little crate over here. And we're not actually seeing the extra 50, chi 50 chickens. I think this maxed out how many chickens it's going to show. But this chicken coop does hold 650 chickens. So when that gets near full, we're going to have eggs everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to sleep another month away. Because like I said, I got no field work to do. Um, yeah. Oh, the other thing I did want to check out, and I was actually going to do it before I started recording to see if I could do it. But I actually want to go into mowers because doing silage is something we might do. And I think, oh, so that's 75. But that requires 160 horsepower, which we have. So that's 80, we'll just say 90,000 for the mowers if I were to buy them. Then I have to buy a loading wagon or lease. I probably have to do some leasing and then put down a side. Yeah. To do silage and sell it. Oh boy, it's going to cost a good penny here. That may have to be put on hold again. All right, let me squeeze through the door. I must have got fat through the winter. I couldn't squeeze through the door. And let's go to the month of April. And month of April is probably, I'm not going to sleep through anymore. I got work to do around here. Uh, we'll find something to do for sure. Definitely selling some stuff. And, you know, I could probably make some more fields. Get some things prepped. But hopefully the price of furniture has gone up. First thing we'll do is always look in the shop because I forget. Oh, I would love to buy that header, but we don't even have a combine, so why worry about it? Um, well, hello, uh, Mr. Cobra. How are you doing? Uh, not that, you know, the chainsaw does just as well. So nothing interesting here in the used vehicle department. Let's go to this page here. Ah, uh, yes, almost $100 more and the price is going up and tomatoes are pretty good as well. Uh, supermarket is high there and the furniture price is better at the supermarket. So we'll probably just bring everything to the supermarket. Sounds like a plan here. Uh, yep. So I'm going to go get our first load in. I'm just trying to think of anything else I need to be doing here. Uh, let me just double check on the chickens. Are they fine for today? I probably should top them off because I'll probably forget about them. Yeah, we're doing fine here. 2,000 liters of eggs now. That, that was quick. Uh, what are the egg prices? I, yeah, I forgot to check the egg prices. Uh, egg pricing. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Where are the eggs? There's the eggs. Uh, the price is not that good, so we're going to hold off on that. When are the egg prices good? We are in the month of April, which is like the lowest it can be. It looks like November is the time to sell that. So let's grab the T6. I'm going to go hook up the trailer. I'm going to start bringing some loads of furniture because I'm going to have a lot of crates there. I'm going to bring that on down to the supermarket. Then I'll come back, grab the tomatoes, start delivering those. I'll tell you what, uh, it's just going to be me driving back and forth to the supermarket and selling. I'll bring you what I got most of it done. I'll bring, bring you guys back for that. And then we'll come on down here. And it looks like I'm going to be putting down the sawmill today. Our last load of tomatoes going on down to the supermarket. They got tons of tomatoes to sell, so they should be all set for a while. And I'll bring our money over 70000 which is great. It sounds great to say I got that much money. Uh, but in farming sense, it really isn't that much money anyways. So I've been thinking as I've been going back and forth with everything here. We're going to be putting down the sawmill here shortly. And I was, of course, thinking this, you know... You know, direct line of thought, you know, put down the sawmill, make planks, take the planks and put it over to the furniture store and make furniture, right? We got so much lumber here. I think what we're going to do is we're, we're going to still bring wood to the furniture shop and make furniture. And we're going to bring wood, obviously, to the sawmill to make planks. And we'll sell planks and furniture. I just need more money coming on in and doing it that way. Uh, before anyone else does say, I'm surprised no one has said it yet. Uh, why do I put down a second furniture shop because we got so much lumber and make you know double the amount of furniture I don't want to put multiple production buildings down so That's why I haven't done that if you thought of that, you know, 
I just don't want to. I don't want to do that. I mean, obviously you can do that, but uh, we're not going to do that here. So yeah, the sawmill. We're going to make planks, sell planks. Cause planks do sell for a decent amount of money. I did check; they're like a thousand dollars per. So that's not too bad. Uh, I also should mention the furniture shop did run out of wood actually, so uh, it hasn't been running for a few hours. I would say probably the middle of the night, somewhere around there. So $71,545 is what we have in our bank account. That sounds so good. Um, I'm going to stay away from looking at the shop to see what's uh, on for sale. I know we checked this morning, but I just need to stay away from that. Let's get the sawmill up and running. And then, of course, I have to bring some wood over because with no wood in these buildings, I'm not making much cash. Although the chickens are doing that for me and the greenhouse are doing that for me currently as we speak. But we need more money coming in. Uh, obviously, more money, the better. So, uh, yeah, we got plenty of wood around here. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm not losing anything. But, yeah, we're just going to bring wood in to the furniture shop. Keep making furniture. The sawmill will make planks. And I'll, I'll have more product to sell. That's the whole point of everything, right? Okay, let's go ahead and drop off the trailer here. Yeah, so I'm still having issues with the pallet forks once in a while. Not with the pallet forks going in, the pallets falling through, but every once in a while they just take off on you. So I'm not going to lie, I did a lot of those pallets with a super strength because I had a couple pallets go flying again. And uh, yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of that at all. Uh, let's go ahead and detach that because I don't need that for anything. Back on up. And actually I'm going to leave the T6 parked right here. Let's turn off the engine because... Uh, I've been using a lot of diesel fuel in that lately. Uh, let's not get too close because if I get too close, then we get into trouble. Let's go in here. Construction. All right. So before I put down the sawmill, I am going to go to landscaping and painting. And I'm going to put dirt around here. Probably shouldn't. But we're going to. It's going to cost me a little bit of cash, but it is what it is. I want to make sure I get rid of these bushes because I think it was going to delete the bushes, but I don't want to put the sawmill down and not have it delete a bush. And then I got a bush sticking through a wall, so that's not. I'm not going to be a big fan of that. So let's go over to here. I don't know how big the sawmill is. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, that's about as big as I can make it. Money's going down, but it's okay. In the long run, we're going to be making lots of money here anyways. Is this at the beginning? Not so much. Oh, is that a tree? Okay, I got a tree over there. Okay. No problem. I should have a stump here somewhere. I did cut down a tree, but I cut it awfully low to the ground. All right, let's see what that does. Uh, let's go to productions. All the way down right here. Yeah, we are good. Uh, where's that tree? The tree's over there. That's, oh, that's as far as I can scroll out. That's fine. Uh, let's put it at, a, I don't want to say an odd angle, but kind of a angle like, like that. Ooh, I like the way the look of the sawmill is here. All right, so I'm assuming the planks come out there. Let's go into here. And yeah, so wood, and we make planks, and we get wood chips. Uh, easy peasy, nice and easy. Yeah, the furniture shop. Yeah, materials missing. Yeah, we know. I'll be working on that here very shortly. I'm going to assume the planks come out here. Uh, this is where I bring the wood and probably take out the wood chips. What goes here? Or is this where the wood chips come out? I don't think that's where the wood chips come out. Maybe I pick up the wood chips here. You know what? Let's start making to actually bring some wood over. Get the sawmill up and running first. So, uh, you see me cut up trees last episode. Let me go get some trees cut. We'll bring over some lumber, put it in the sawmill. And we'll get the sawmill up and running. And then uh, I'll be doing a lot of tree cutting in between episodes. Getting the, the furniture shop up and going. And of course, stocking up the sawmill up and going as well. I would like to do some landscaping around here, get a get the road going around here. Actually, they put concrete or asphalt down around this. That's fine. But I should have a tree stump around here. I did cut a tree awfully low to the ground. Did I cut it so low that the stump just dis disappeared? 
it doesn't matter. You don't see it. You don't see it. It's all good. All right. Uh, I need to get my trailer. Need to get some wood. Let's get the sawmill up and running so I can kind of see some of the trigger points at the sawmill. And hopefully I don't like it, look like an idiot like I did at the furniture shop trying to find where the wood chips come out. First time leaving the farm, looking over there now, and that sawmill just really sticks out now. It just, <laughs> before it's like the furniture shop, it's like, yeah, I can see it in the distance. That sawmill just, it's like it's in your face. Uh, let's bring up the help menu because apparently I need that more often than not lately. Uh, so let's come over here. Uh, like I said, I think this is the spawn point, I would think. All right. Let's go over to here. Now let's see if this is the trigger for the lumber here. I think I saw it disappear. Yep, wood, 5,129 liters. Yep, nothing is there. So let's go to the help menu or in here. And let's go ahead and it is now active. Right? Everything good? Cycles per month, 120. We're only making planks, so we should be good to go. Oh, we got three liters of planks. Hooray. Uh, let me just speed up time just a little bit here. Let me go back in here. How long before I get some wood chips? Like I said, uh, how long before you get some wood chips? Hey, some wood chips. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me slow down time again. So that's where we get rid of the wood. So I'm assuming this here, when I pull in, it's going to say start filling. So if I, yep, got two liters of wood chips. And since I got wood chips already, let's go over to here. And might as well do it just to, just to show it and uh, make sure it does work, but I'm pretty sure it does. Let's back on up. And fill up wood chips that way. Uh, speaking of wood chips, where do we want to bring the wood chips to? Uh, where are wood chips on this one? Wood chips. Uh, supermarket actually takes wood chips, and so does the farm shop. Um, farm shop seems more realistic than the supermarket. I'm actually surprised the supermarket wants wood chips. But I'll bring them on there and sell it. I'm not going to get a whole lot. I didn't see how much they go for. Probably like, what, a couple hundred bucks? Um, the biomass plant is something I could put down and sell wood chips at. But not feasible to go go and do that currently. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. We went through the whole month of winter. We're up to $46,000 in our bank account. But do remember, we do have a $150,000 loan we still need to pay off. But we got ourselves a sawmill. Now we're going to be making planks. And we're also going to be making furniture. I'm not going to take the planks and bring over to the furniture shop. We might as well sell the planks. And just keep bringing wood to the furniture shop and the sawmill. And that way we just got more things to sell. And of course we got the greenhouse, the chickens. We got things that are being produced. Things are looking good. Our fields are the best I can currently make them. They're fully fertilized. Uh, no weeds are showing. No rocks. Uh, maybe this year we'll get to spread some lime down. But that will be like in October. But the money's coming in now. The money is coming in now. So like I said, between episodes... Probably going to cut down some more trees over by the farm, uh, clear up some more space. Eventually, I'll have to get the tree mulcher, and i probably going past where I need to sell this. Uh, yeah, we got to get rid of some stumps in there. But the things are looking really good around here. Wood chips, there we go. Yeah, give me my 500 bucks. That's pretty much, I don't think it's even going to be 500 bucks, is it? But you know what? It's wood chips. Uh, what is it? $323 for the wood chips. But either way, uh, we got rid of the wood chips and they are now sold. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what. I think probably I may wait until May, possibly. And uh, that's when I'll see you next time. But hey, we got the sun up running. I'm, I'm happy with that. More production double thumbs up and i'm just rambling on at this point to end the video but that's gonna do it for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always and i'll catch you again right here in no man's land but until then have a good one